The level of English in local schools or the level of teaching English is quite high in Switzerland. Um, what are the other languages Swiss students are looking for? Or is there some changes, some new trends coming up? You see, especially people who, who make A-levels or make the Matura, uh, in these days, um, many schools offer uh, lessons like uh, maths or biology or whatever already in English. So that means people have quite a high level in English, that's true. Uh, but those are mainly people who, who do uh, are looking for an academic career. And uh, those people, they love to learn different languages. So and if I'm talking about different languages, uh, number one is definitely s Spanish, you know, because Spanish is one of the world languages. It's, and it's, it's great to learn because you, many people uh, make a combination of traveling around South America, they start up in Mexico, do a course in Mexico, then uh, later on a two-week course in Panama, they go further south, uh, maybe a course in Ecuador, and at the end uh, they make another course in, in Argentina. And, um, but there are the other languages like Russian, like Chinese, like Japanese, like Korean, who are picking up as well on the Swiss market, not on a, on a big level, but we, we realize that more and more people uh, want to learn those exotic languages for, for our business. So you would say Spanish is second after English. Uh, what, what you would think is third or fourth? What is coming then? I, you see, Spanish is definitely second in these days. Uh, but uh, for the Swiss-German market, it's French is number three. And Italian is still number four, even it's not as popular as it was 20, 30 years ago. So traveling distances from Switzerland to Germany is not that long, so um, how long do the students study or they come for, for a week to over to Germany or is it long-term studies? Uh, juniors, they might mostly go two weeks, some of them t three weeks, some of them four weeks, but I would say 80% um, they stay for about two weeks in a summer course, a holiday course, whatever. That was the second part of ISAF Monitor. Stay tuned for part three.